Listen to that. You know what, officially, that's annoying. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Actually, when we heat the whole house, both zones, we don't hear a thing. It's only when the second floor is on and the first floor is off that we get this annoying whistling. All right, well, it is time to go to the basement and visit the furnace. Okay. Now, let me explain what you've got here. This is an oil-fired furnace. Okay. There's an oil tank right here that stores your fuel. It comes down to the bottom through this pipe, works its way over right here to the burner. When a thermostat calls for heat, the burner comes on and starts to fire. At the same time, there's a fan which comes on and pulls air back from the return air duct right here from the building. Now it's pulled across this pleated filter. I'm really glad to see that. And now the fan sits right here and now it pushes that air up across the heat exchanger where it picks up the temperature. Now the heated air now goes up into this box right here. This is called a plenum. Now the plenum has a couple of branches. You can see one right here and this goes off to the second floor. And another branch comes off the side right here and goes up to the first floor. In each one of these branches, you'll notice this. This is a motorized zone damper. Now this is the part that sits inside the ductwork. Now when the thermostat is satisfied, this is what it looks like. Okay. With a call for heat, now the motor now opens these blades right like that, and it's open. Sure. Thermostat satisfied, it closes like this. Now imagine what happened when this first installer did the ductwork system here. Let's say that he designed it for 50% of the airflow to go to the second floor and 50% to go to the first floor. Now you put this damper in and now it's closing off half the ductwork. You got a furnace putting out 100% of its force. What happens? It's now trying to jam that air into much smaller ductwork and it can lead to two things. One is it can build up the pressure and have a velocity noise inside the open zone, but it can also push against the closed damper. So you might get a little whistle against these, these damper blades right here. Okay. And that's what I think is happening to you. Okay, so what do you think we can do to correct this? Well, because it is a buildup in pressure, we actually need to put in the equivalent of a thing called a relief valve. In this case, it's called a bypass damper. We need to cut in off the supply right here and relieve the pressure that's building up inside the plenum. What happens with that excess air? We're actually going to reconnect it right over here back to the return side. Now to tie into the ductwork, we're going to use these start collars. And this one's going to install right there on the supply side. On the return side, we're going to use another start collar. I'd like to get it on the flattest portion of this ductwork, away from these creases. So right about there looks good right there. And now I want to find a center point. I can eye that up right there. Pilot hole in. I want to be sure I go clockwise. Okay, that's it for the return side. Now the supply. All right. Now we can install the start collars with some zip screws. All right, now we're ready for the return side. Good. All right, Kalen, this is your bypass duct. Two elbows, and there's a straight piece of pipe in the middle that is your bypass damper. It has a door inside of it. It has a weighted arm to hold it shut, and that seals against this gasket. Now, it's going to install right here. And now, in normal mode, you've got both zones calling. 50% of the air is going to the second floor, 50% to the first floor. Everything's fine. There's going to be no buildup in pressure. This door will stay shut. No air is going to come through here. But when you have that condition you talked about, closing that first floor zone, you build up the pressure here in the supply plenum, now we have a way to relieve the pressure. That higher pressure air pushes and can open this door. Now that air can divert between the supply and the return. Now what that does is it drops the pressure over here. You're no longer pushing against that closed damper. No more whistle, no more annoying noise. That's perfect. Mm -hmm.